Happy Monday! Welcome back to Hawk Talk. I'm Hannah. And I'm JJ. Let's all stand for the pledge. Good morning, Gladwin High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Hannah, what'd you do over this uh, so-called break? Search for my missing dog. How's that going? She's gone. And I don't know where she is. Cash reward if found. Cash reward. I think Hunter's got some weather for us. Let's go see that. Yo, it's weatherman Hunter here. Uh, today's going to have a high of 33 degrees, a low of 29. Expect a little bit of snow on National Polar Bear Day. Back to you. The market will be serving gumbo, popcorn, chicken bowls, deli subs, and pizza. Ignite has been canceled for tonight due to weather, and tomorrow, and Wednesday, due to a conference. Coffee and credits will be, still be running in the morning. Track, 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 track. The girls' track team is looking for some cool cats that want to join. Sign up in the main office. Track, 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 You know that song? Bowling wrapped up their conference season this weekend with their conference matches. Skylar Davey earned the first team all-conference. Juliana Corlew and Mallory Crandall earned second in the team. And Abby West and Aspen Davey earned honorable mention. On the boys' side, Brady Weston, Hunter McDowell, Harvey Zell, and Xander Eastlick all earned first team honors. John Corlew was second team, and Braden Phillips, Logan Klein all received honorable mentions. The boys also secured a first place finish in the conference. Boys Bowling placed first in regionals last Saturday and secured first place in state finals this Friday. Last Monday, your freshman boys team traveled to Charlton Heston Academy, earning a 52-17 win. Scoring for the team was Carter Phillips, Brody Varellen with three each, Braden Randall with six, Colton Finneger with 14, and Ben Varellen with a game high of 26 points. The boys' basketball program had another great night last Friday evening as they swept in Beaverton with both JV and varsity. The JV final score was 46-29. to Jaden Mietzke led all the scorers with 14 points. The varsity team also won by a score of 57-39. to Seth Mead had a team high of 12 points, while Lucas Mead and Connor D tailed an 11. The final home game is tomorrow evening against Bullet Creek. Then the team travels to Shepherd on Thursday for a chance to share the Jack Pine Conference title. Wrestling regionals were this weekend in Grayling. We have two wrestlers who will be headed to the state tournament at Ford Field. Congratulations to Braden Demery and Trisha Przewski. You know who's a cut of meat? I don't know, but here's our cut above the rest. January's cut above the rest winners are Skylar Davey and John Whitman. Senior Skylar Davey is always seen with a smile on her face and an upbeat attitude. Skylar has been a key club member for the past four years, always volunteering when she can. Even in her busy schedule, she always finds time to help with the food giveaways and the fleece and thank you blankets. She's also heavily involved in Girl Scouts where she is an ambassador, which is a top honors within the Scouts. She's currently working on her final Girl Scout project, Gold Award, where she will be making an outdoor library for New Dawn Shelter. Skylar is a member of the Gladwin Bowling Team and is known for always keeping a positive environment. She understands the end goal and doesn't dwell and stress about the little things. She is a great supporter to the younger teammates. In addition to the key club and bowling, Skylar can also be found within the band and also helping with her mom's vet business. Skylar aspires to attend college after high school, where we know she will do great things. Skylar is a cut above the rest. Junior John Whitman is a student athlete that not only excels on the field of play, but in the classroom and out in the community. He truly is a cut above the rest. John was the captain of the back-to-back -back Jack Pine Conference Champion Boys Cross Country Team. This season, he put in the work needed to drop nearly two minutes off his personal best from the beginning to the end of the season. Within athletics, he is also a valuable member of the wrestling and track teams, which both continued to see success under his leadership. In the classroom, John leads by example and is a mentor to the younger students. John is a drummer in the school's marching band and was seen on Ford Field for the state championship football game, as well as in the basketball pep band. John also serves his community through various activities. He's a part of Boy Scouts where he is an Eagle Scout pending the finish of his community project. John also serves his community through various activities. He's a part of the Boy Scouts where he is an Eagle Scout pending the finish of his community project. 
Within this busy schedule, John still finds time to help people out with projects or to hang out with friends. John Whitman is a role model. Congratulations, Skylar and John. Way to be a cut above the rest. I hope you have an amazing, perfect, fantastic, awesome, sunshining, beautiful Monday evening day. And I hope you find your dog. Thanks. Is there a picture here? See you next time on Hawk Talk.